at 6-3 as a first contestant, and he slams one right in using his right, coming in directly in front of the hoop. First round attempt by Nelson Asaitono. Here he comes, going way up and slamming it in with his right. A similar slam dunk as Giselle Angeles early. Form and grace and style, creativity and degree of difficulty. Number three man is Alex de Guzman of Miascore at 6-2 with a two-handed reverse slam dunk. Ariel Tizon of RFM Swifts at 6-1 is another high leaper. He really stuffed that one in with authority. All of them have been able to score so far. Verhelm Nemesis is a dark horse favorite from Jose Rizal College. Watch him move! 360 degrees! Spinning slam dunk. He is outstanding. One of the unknowns. One of the non-PABL players. And here comes another one from San Sebastian College. National team player Paul Alves. Going way up. Paul Alvarez only stands six feet, but he can really leap. Here comes another red hot favorite, Giorgio Lastimosa. From Congress Luillier. Left-handed slam dunk. Oh, he really pulverized the court that time. He is a right-hander, but he uses left for that one. And another favorite is Alvin Patrimonio. He goes money man. He stands 6'4". He plays a power forward. Right-handed slam dunk. They're vying for a 10,000 peso first prize in cash and goods from Magnolia Quench Plus. Aceitono lost his timing that time. The second prize winner will get 7,500 and the third placer will get 5,000. Aceitono tossed the ball up and then stuffed it in. We're seeing a lot of original slam dunks being attempted. Alex de Guzman is another high jumper of Mia score. But he fails, he'll get a grace attempt. Ariel Tizon is a number four participant from RFM Swifts. Let's find out. Number five man up is Menezes, and look at him toss that ball up and slam it in with his back to the basket. Watch a slow-mo of that hell Menezes, he tossed the ball up, timed it perfectly, and then slams it in with both hands. Next, ball Ariel Tizon just completed his third round, and this is Paul Alvarez. Next. Spinning around likewise and looking pretty spectacular himself on a must 20-point system. Form and grace, creativity, degree of difficulty, and Giorgio completes the 360-degree spinning slam dunk. Alvin Patrimonio, eighth man up. He is a defending slam dunk king, winning the very first slam dunk contest stage by Magnolia French Class, and he completes a very difficult try. Tossing the ball from under his left armpit, going way up and stuffing it in, in the same motion. This is the final round now. Giselle Angeles leads off. From the EcoShine Masters, near conventional Molia firm. Nelson has been outstanding with his brute strength under that basket. And what a leaper he is. He slams it against the hoop and scores a slam dunk. Oh, Verhelm Menezes now comes up. He is the favorite. Earlier it was Alex de Guzman. Watch Menezes. Oh, what a difficult shot that was. It's gonna take some doing to dislodge him. And the crowd is Really delighted. Watch this as Manessa slams it against the glass and then slams it in. All right, here's Paul Aldres. He misses on one, scores on the other. Not a spectacular Timosa will try and redeem himself. This is his final try. Double punch, yes, he completes it. 
as he hits the deck. And what an upset this is going to be. Here comes Patrimonio. Spinning around and completing his attempt. He gets a round of applause anyway. So Paul Aldres is not giving up the ship. He's coming in for a two-ball slam dunk attempt. Here he goes. Paul Aldres. Yes, he completes it. Two balls into the hoop by Paul Alvarez. Now Alvin Patrimonio is going to be featured on his first round slam dunk. Alvin Patrimonio making his move and with authority at the sides of the basket stops it in with his right. Picking him as the slam dunk king. It says Meneses slam dunk king. They Take a look at the final slam dunk of Berhel Meneses. How can you deny that this young man is a slam dunk king?